this is a bottom board and uh, this is the entrance I, 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 I cut out a little notch on this side piece on each side piece of the bottom board I cut out a little notch so I could put a piece of wood across the front let me back off and you can tell and uh, they they call them beetle ballast but I, I call it uh, uh, beetle barrier beetle barrier anyhow uh, you attach these to this side rail uh, all the way around and they say it keeps the beetles from going up into the here's my version of the beetle stopper I'll call it and uh, this is the entrance right here and you see how this aluminum it's it's on the it's around the edge of the bottom board and it angles down a little bit. Uh, about a week and a half ago I made uh, what I call a high beetle uh, stopper. Some people call it a, a high beetle baffle. Uh, this hive had had quite a few high beetles in it. I'm gonna go in there I don't do a scientific study so I'm gonna go in there and see if it looks like I have less or more and um, Right, so here's a suggestion. Most people, when they start to take off the, the, the boxes, the brood chambers, they'll put a hive tool in one corner and, and, and pry it loose on the corner. When you do that, you mash it. This hive, this super may be heavy. It's been glued down a long time. When you go in one corner like that, you're going to mash that wood, and it will start, uh, start absorbing water. And it, your, your, your corners rot the Use first. two hive tools, work them both in, and prime both up at the same time. It'll make it twice as easy, and you won't mash the wood near as bad. Okay, we're going to go in here and see if the high beetles, if this high beetle stopper has done the trick or whatever. And... Uh, Alright, now we're going to take the top brood chamber off. I, loos I loosened it up with a hive tool. I'm going to set it off like so. Alright, now I am not seeing the large amount of hive beetles I that I've seen in the past. See this burr comb? You got to keep that cut off. All right, now I'm on. I'm on. A, I've got the bottom brood chamber loose from the bottom board. All right. Look here. I'm seeing high beetles on the bottom of the board. The, the bottom of. I. Oop. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh. They got me. They got me good. I believe that thing is. I believe that thing's working. I got to get them back together. And they're, they're not happy campers today. I believe that. Now they got me good that time. Call it quits. I believe that. Uh, I don't know why all of a sudden they decide to 
get on my case. I'm going to get out of Dodge while I can. All right. Uh, I was going to tell you something kind of personal, but those bees got personal with me. They, 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 they got on my case. I had to get out of Dodge, but what I was going to tell you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm 73. My wife says I don't hear too good, and she's probably correct. But uh, anyway, a good friend of mine, he's about my age, and he got some new hearing aids. And he was telling me, man, these are wonderful. They're good. He just he just went on and on telling me how good them hearing aids are. And I said, what kind is it? He said, what time is it? Enough for the good hearing aids. So y'all have a good day. <laughs> y'all have a good day. <laughs>